Hey everybody, and welcome to the lounge. I'm my fellow loungers, chillers, ballers, and grillers. Dang, that's impressive. <laughs> that's impressive. See, that's what that's what somebody who's watched your videos knows. Yeah. Guys, yeah. I have Malachi, and and a lot of you guys don't know who he is, probably, right? I'm I'm like in the shadows. When's the lot. last time you've made a video? Last time was probably 20. 2016 maybe it's a long time when you have yeah. to sit there and think about how long ago it was to make a video <laughs> yeah um i've known this guy for who was during the psycho series so yeah so four. was it towards the end or was it in the middle of it it was a little bit towards the end okay um, like like probably oh yeah because i was already video. on twitter so it would have been then yeah um and i didn't get into twitter until Jesse had come out here, so it would have been the end of the Psycho series, because yeah. I wasn't even on the Psycho series until the end of it anyway. Yeah, more to the end. But uh, yeah, I've known him for a long time, and now it's three years already. Three, yeah, three or four Jeez. years. Yeah. <laughs> you figured you were only in high school, right? Yeah. And now you're graduated college. Not yeah, now I'm done college. Yeah. Wow. So, so I, he, you came to, you, you went to our uh, picnic here. Yeah, I was at the, the uh, subscriber party that you had here yeah. after the Sega series. And I, uh, how many people would you say was here? Maybe 30? About 30, 35, yeah. Yeah, and so yeah. you figure you were, you had to be kind of trusted, like, well, I shouldn't say kind of, you had to be really trusted for me to invite you to begin with. Oh, yeah, like, you you were inviting anybody who wasn't, like, a really close friend uh, of yours. I mean, you, you mentioned that in the DMs. Yeah. The talking, so. And some of them aren't even friends with me anymore yeah yeah so it's so. like i you know even though i trusted them then now i don't trust them <laughs> but no malachi um i, I want to just give a little brief history about him that we met on twitter one time because i was having problems on twitter and we're not going to get into any of the problems that yeah, i was having no. or anything no. but i met him through there and we we uh we kind of bonded through that and you were helping me out and stuff because i was frantic yeah <laughs> and i don't a lot of times Tom would tell me stuff but it didn't click with me and I would I would like panic on Twitter and be like oh no I'm getting all this hate blah blah and I would talk to Malachi on there and he was trying to help me out with a lot of some of the, well not a lot but some of the problems that I was having yeah, so, at the time. yeah Twitter was like a really really dangerous place for anybody who was related to Jesse during that time yeah, yeah right. so, so many people wanted to like get to know like I mean you being new on Twitter meant like you you didn't really know the very naive. Yeah, so if, if anybody could get the chance at like talking to you, that was their way to get to Jesse, and so it was like a like a very uh, soft time for a lot of people on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, and then and then a lot of stuff was going down then, so he was helping me out, kind of like reassuring me, like yo, you know, we'll we'll handle this and blah blah, and uh, yeah, so that's how it started, and then came out to the picnic, and then later on. You went to the MVE thing, so you were an MVE fan too. Yeah, I, I did go to the Levity Levity Club. Uh, with and you even remember the name of the club, but I don't even remember. The name of the <laughs> yeah, I, re I remember that day like it was yesterday. Yeah, and I and I I don't think I, did you tell me that you were going to that? I don't know. I don't think I think I was talking to Terry about how it was going to be a surprise to see you. Okay. At the event. Okay. So I, no, I didn't even say anything to you. Yeah, because I remember I, seeing you there, and I was like, "Oh, Malachi's here." No, <laughs> yeah, I didn't mention anything. Yeah. So yeah. So, do you still have a YouTube channel? Do you do anything? No, I I kind of have. When that I was going to give you a shout out. That's why. Oh yeah. No. It I, gave, you might have got one subscriber or something. Probably. It, they don't work like <laughs> they used to. Yeah. But uh, so yeah, you don't do anything on it. No, I haven't done YouTube in a while because of how the algorithm is. It's not so, worth it, right? It's, no. it's like the, the, the people don't understand that the amount of effort that you put into a video, and then if you get very little return on that, yeah, it's very depressing and you don't feel like doing it anymore it's very true it's like it's really hard for new creators in order to start something if they haven't been seen before because um of the way the algorithm is set up yeah um, so it's just it's kind of you know find something else yeah and you won't get pushed out unless you hit a trend yeah which, which you have to get lucky it's like throwing yeah. darts where i forgot i always wear my hat backwards when i'm filming only because it creates a shadow in my it's face. a shadow yeah just turn it back Yes, I don't know if you have a shadow on yours or not. I don't know. Like, I can't see the back. screen. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it the way it is now, it's like, and it's weird, and nobody understands exactly what's going on with YouTube with yeah. any of the stuff that that uh, you, you know will make you popular or anything. Uh, we just don't know. 
we're confused on it ourselves. Yeah. We also think sometimes that we're blacklisted. We're not sure from the Psycho series. Yeah, it's, it's you know, they don't really talk to us. Like I said before, I mean, uh, if you're not some of the content creators that really bring in a lot of attention towards YouTube, mm -hmm. um, like, you get treated differently than those people who are there. So, yeah. Yeah, it's really, really difficult. Like, I mentioned, I mentioned on one video how we did uh, some killer clown stuff, but we never caught a killer clown. Yeah. It was just a clown. Like, there was one time, like, who's this clown in the woods, right? That got demonetized. Right, Ellen DeGeneres did a video where she was scaring somebody. Yeah, you know she scares people. Yeah, show? yeah. They had a clown mask on. Well, that's on YouTube, and it's not demonetized. It's on the trending page. Yeah. It's making all kinds of money <laughs> on there and everything. So, so they have a double standard. If you're, if yeah. you're popular, it's one way. If you're not popular, it's the other way. So yeah. it is what it is, and you know we can complain till the cows come home, but it's not going to change anything. That's true. Yeah, Story Fire is the way to go now. I don't care what you guys think. It's gonna be. Storyfire is pretty good. I've yeah, been. I've, I have Storyfire. I've been on Storyfire um, a couple of times. Um, I know. I used to. I used to bounce between Jesse's videos on YouTube and Storyfire, okay. and then all the content that's on there. Um, but I do. Well, it. You were a journalist, major, major, right? Yeah, journalism, journalism major. So yeah. that means you like to write, right? Yeah. I mean, I. So have I've, you written any stories on there? I've. I've attempted to. Uh, but then I've gotten sidetracked with a lot of stuff. But I, I do want to, once I get done with everything and, and finally move back home, uh, start start doing stuff on Storyfire. Yeah, guys. So, what's your uh, what's your name on Storyfire? Is it Malachi? I think it's I think it's Malachi or Mr. Gold Games. Yeah, Mr. Gold Games. Yeah. yeah, that's what that's how I, I that's how I know <laughs> from back on Twitter. Yeah. That's how all I knew him by. I didn't even know yeah. you by Malachi. I knew you by Mr. <laughs> gold Games. <laughs> you, you used to call me. You used to think my last name was Gold, and that's why I put that in there. You used to call me Gold until I said. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea. Was, yeah, it's funny how that works. though. it's like there's a lot of people on on Twitter that will ha won't put their name down, and they'll yeah. put something that's like so you only know them by whatever, whatever they the had put down is, yeah it's like uh yeah. there's another guy his name dj rock and ray i don't know if you know who he is on there yeah uh so yeah there's a shout out to you but it's like <laughs> it's like whenever i talk if like i was telling my sisters like oh so and so wrote something it'd be like oh dj rock and ray wrote that yeah. or something like that so that's who you're known by after that so yeah it's you kind don't of really know anybody's name because they always hide it behind the username so. yeah and then you really never even know if that somebody is really who they yeah unless you true. actually meet them in person then then it's a little bit different but yeah there's a lot of scary people on uh <laughs> on social media i've learned that the hard way yeah. but yeah so so he he's been a friend of mine ever since then you're moving now right yeah i'm moving to california with my with my family they moved out two years ago and i was at college for the longest time uh for for a couple years after they they moved out and now i'm finally moving out to and you're to, born and raised in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. Right? yeah. So See. now he now he's going way out to California. Yeah. Different scenery and everything. So so he wanted to stop by the house before he. When are you leaving for California? Uh, next weekend, actually. Next weekend. Yeah. Yeah. So he's going to be gone, and heaven knows when you'll. Because I mean, it's expensive. You know, it's not real cheap yeah. to, to to fly and stuff. So heaven knows if I even see this guy again, except for on Twitter or. We follow each other on Facebook. We do, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're or Facebook. Facebook yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because I responded to you not that long ago on Facebook. Yeah. So, yeah, so we'll be responding. Yeah, that's one of the cool things. It's like, it's not like back in my day, way back when, it was a long time ago. <laughs> the, the, the carrier <laughs> pigeon days. Yeah, exactly. It's like, if somebody moved away, it's like, yeah. oh, that's it. Cause, that's it. I mean, not, not a whole lot of people want to write a letter and send it and stuff like that. So it's different now. You just type a little bit on yeah on Twitter or uh, Facebook or something like that, and you keep in touch for the rest of your lives. It's amazing. I've, I've, I've met uh, some of my childhood friends who we got separated from a move, yeah. and now we're, we're back friends again. That's what I would say. It's like two bodies could be millions of miles away, but on the internet now it's just two seconds away. It's like away. you're right there, yeah. Except yeah, you're for, two seconds yeah. away. And sometimes it's better like that. Yeah. Like you're not right there with that person. Well, just, with certain people. It depends on who it is. Yeah, you catch up with them. So yeah, so that's your next chapter in your life to move out to California. Yeah. Um, and what are you going to pursue? You're going to pursue uh, pursue film. So film? anything that has to do with film, uh, like documentaries or or TV shows, anything like that, is this what I'm what I'm set. Were to. you what a PBS? Were you were yeah, you doing we did, an internship we did, or something? Yeah, we did create a documentary for PBS. We we uh, did it on the 1812. Um, See how that memory uh, cell just kicked in? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, we did. We did do a documentary. Um, we we have it uh, at the museum that I got still that I that I uh, uh, made it for. It's still the museum, uh, but we did do a documentary, and I and I directed and shot. I think myself. So. so that's pretty awesome. Right? Yeah, it was a it was a good time. See, that just goes to show you guys, it's possible. Follow your dreams. You know, next thing you know, this guy's going to be some film guy in <laughs> in California, and then all of a sudden, he's not going to remember Uncle Larry. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be hitting oh. him up, and he'll be like, oh, "Mute this guy." <laughs> I'll, I'll hit him up. Hey, Larry. The Film thing didn't go through. Got a job. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, I think you're getting senile now. You're getting a little bit older now. But no, it's it's pretty awesome because I just want to show you guys how, just because of a circumstance that I was going through on Twitter a long time ago, that we became friends. And look, he he, he thinks that I'm important enough <laughs> to stop by to yeah. see me before he makes a big giant move and to see Tom and everybody else that he knows here. I think that's pretty awesome, and it, it just goes to show you that. You know, we you started off as a fan. I mean, that's that's yeah, the truth, yeah. right? Oh yeah, I was a diehard diehard Mick Juggernaut fan. Right, like, but that doesn't mean you can't be a friend. Right. You know what I mean? Like a lot of you guys out there are probably thinking to yourself, "Oh, I'm just a fan, and I'll never meet them." But you don't know. But I will tell you this: you probably have more of a chance to just be nice yeah. and not because uh, I know that you never like. Hey, I need to talk to you. Like you know, it was never that kind of thing. Like you yeah. had to talk to me. It was always a casual friendship. It was always just like whenever we got the chance to message each other. It was like I was never a fan. I, I just met him on. You're more like a person. Yeah, yeah. You're not a fan. Yeah, yeah. just gonna be a person. And that, yeah, and that's that's good advice for everybody out there because a lot of guys and girls wanna wanna meet Jesse or or talk to Jesse and everything. You have more of a chance of just being like casual talking to him than to sit there and try to bombard him every single day because it's kind of almost a warning thing of almost like th this person is just a little over the top yeah you know? yeah um and it's a little scary to a you know to somebody else like all of a sudden this person has to talk to you so it's a little scary um so what else is, uh, is there any other news that's new or anything like other than that you're just going out there and a whole <laughs> new life is about to open up for you now yeah i i uh i don't know i just you know my parents and my parents didn't even tell me that they were moving out. We we talked about that. How my parents yeah. were just like, "Hey, we're, we're we're gone," and they were already packing the van in order to go out and and move. Um, so they, you're, and here you are in college. Yeah. Were you going to college in Pennsylvania too? Yeah, Edinburgh University in Erie, Pennsylvania. So he's going to college, yeah. and then all of a sudden, is by the way, when you're done college, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guess what? We're going to be out in California. We're going to be out in California. Yeah. So, so. Uh, your your choice is either find a new life by yourself in in in, in PA or you, any, yeah or anywhere. Yeah. Or come out where you're comfortable with your family all yeah. the way to California. So that's where, and I think most people would have done the same thing, go out there. Go out there California's the pretty yeah. cool, so as long as you don't have earthquakes. Yeah, that's where, the, that's where the jobs are. I mean, yeah, you know, there's not a lot of filming and, and documentary jobs out. So maybe in a, in a few years or something, we'll make another one of these videos, if I'm still God, God willing, still around, <laughs> and show you what his next adventure is. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe you'll be a big filmmaker or journalist. Who knows? Yeah, or or maybe I'll be just be back in PA. Just like <laughs> that's the amazing thing. But it, I just wanted to encourage you guys to just be friendly with each other because you don't know yeah. where it's going to lead. Well, until next time. Hey, we're going to bring up our hidden beers. Yeah. <laughs> until next time. First of all, I'm going to say cheers. There you go. Until next time, grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet on, relax. We'll meet you at the lounge.